Hello, it's me, John, scottishsci-fi.co.uk or scottishsci-fi.com. You can follow me on Twitter at DVD Break, friend me on Facebook or all that other social media malarkey. Yeah. Hello. Um, okay, part three of Game of Thrones. Uh, for this part, cats in the background. He doesn't even care, he doesn't like whiskey. He likes rum. Um, so, uh, yeah, so part three, which is going to be made up of, sorry, talking from my back to you, that's, that's rude as anything. Um, part three is made up of Cardu Gold Reserve and Talisca Special, no, Talisca Select Reserve. Select Reserve Talisca, yes. Um, Okay, so what do we think of these? Okay, so this is part three. We've already sort of done the whole introduction thing in the Game of Thrones stuff, and yeah, it's a big collection of eight, and it's all about the houses. So uh, in the case of Cardu Gold Reserve, it's about House Targaryen, um, fire and blood, as you do. If you can hear cardboard being torn in the background, it's because the cat has decided to just rip the crap out of the box, because that's what he does to get attention. Thank you, Morgan. Give you some more rum later, won't we? There is the tube for your perusal. It's another pretty dragony type. Uh, well, this one's a dragon because Targaryen dragons and stuff. I guess selected for the gold reference because uh, matey boy got his head. Wow, uh, matey boy got his head um, encased in gold. The, in, if oh, spoiler. Oh, it's like in the second episode. Because um, if you haven't watched it, you ain't gonna watch it already, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, Cardi Gold Reserve. It is a uh, standard bottling, it's bottling that's already available, um, as you would get it. So it's one of those ones that's probably not uh, the most sensible one to open because you could just open a regular bottle rather than um, cracking the, the top of a limited edition. But I'm special. Um, <sighs> What's it smell like? She smells a little bit young. It's got that kind of overtly spirity kind of. Um, I keep wanting that when I when I smell certain spirits, I tend to think of tequila and that kind of thing, um, and it immediately gave me that kind of edge tonight. Which is strange because I haven't had that edge to this one where I've tried it previously, and I've only just poured it, so maybe I I should let it sit a little while. But it's perfectly pleasant. Honey, bit of orange juice, bit of citrusy kind of thing going on. Gentle on the honey, bits of vanilla. Little bit burnt kind of burnt orange peel, I'd say. Cardi being very popular in um, Spain and those kind of areas. I wonder if it's more suited to a hotter climate. It's not particularly hot at the moment. It's beginning of March and it's that's well, really like <laughs> British weather in the beginning of March. It's, it's, it's rubbish. It's grey. Um, there is a little bit of a pineapple-y kind of tropical note to it but very very gentle very light. Overall, it's, it, you know, it's like with much of this range, it, it, there's nothing desperately unpleasant about it. There's nothing offensive on the nose. It's just, it just smells like a fruity whiskey. Palette. This is the first sip of whiskey I've actually had tonight, which probably should have had a warmer upper dram, in all honesty. But I'm pressed for time. It's been a busy weekend and a busy evening, so I kind of jumped into it a little bit. So I'm going to ignore my first <laughs> dram kind of thing because the first dram of your night, first taste you have is always a little bit like, kind of like, oh, need to acclimatise. So that's the problem. That's we'll go again. Fruity. 
lots of honey, lots of balance, smoothness, if you like. Oh, sugar, I'm doing the flat earth thing. <gasps> Just watch that documentary. It's well worth watching. It's very, very informative. It's not flat. Um, if there are any flat earthers out there that's watching this, please comment below and please just, you know, please do. I love you. Bless your heart. Honey, fruity, smooth. ginger it's, it's clearly it's it's a younger whiskey you can you can tell from the uh, more robustness of it you know that it, it's got that kind of gingery edge it's a, there's a lot of there's not a lot but there is a spirity edge to it but that doesn't necessarily make it a bad thing it's 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 perfectly okay would I buy another bottle Probably not. I'm happy to drink this one. I've got no problem with it. It's going to be one of those ones that will be stuck in the glass and drank. Not really thought about. Just happily sipped upon. And I'd probably experiment with um, mixing it. But not, not in a great deal. It doesn't need mixing. It's not like White Walker. Which benefits from anything um, else put in it. Um... <laughs> Sorry, honest. Um, but it's perfectly all right. There is nothing wrong with it. It's just all right. That'd be that. Um, that is Dane Bottle. Again, all... I mean, say what you will. I think it is a great selection. It's a great set. It's, it's, there's a... There's a consistency there and it is great whether you want to display it, whether you want to drink it, whether you want to get one to drink one to display, the flog later on, whatever. Uh, it's, there's nothing wrong with it, they're priced drinkably. That is um, at, so sorry, um, totally unprofessional, obviously I'm just rushing now. 40% um, ABV, but all that. Uh, the retail on that one, I think, was on the heavier side. I've not got my bloody iPad on me. Um, I think it was on the heavier side. I think it was. Uh, uh, I think it was at the fifty pounds mark. I might be wrong. It might be thirty-eight. It's one or the other. Um, the thing is, it's that kind of price in the supermarkets, and usually gets quite heavily discounted. So again, you could kind of easily buy one just to just to drink if you wanted to try Cardu Gold Reserve. Um, it's not a difficult whiskey to get. It's not a difficult whiskey to um, obtain or anything like that. This is just purely about the uh, special bottle. Und, next, Talisker. Talisker, select reserve, bottled at 45.8% as all good Talisker is. And this one is House Grey, Grey Joy. No Joy. Uh, Grey Joy. Um, and uh, we do not sew, is what it says on there. Apparently they don't. I don't know why they don't sew. I mean, there's probably just a lack of cotton. I don't know. Um, that is the bottle. I'm letting my palette calm down after the cardi, so I can properly try the tally skrrr. And I call it tally skrrr because the cat's called tally skrrr, and I just can't help because I just call him that because I'm special. Um, Okay, if you can't tell from reactions, then I had a little smile on my face there because it's Talisker, and Talisker is a lovely whiskey. It's as simple as that. It's lovely whiskey. I wouldn't call my cat Talisker if I didn't think he wasn't lovely. I would have called him 8pm. Another story, anyway, which I'll review, <laughs> incidentally. People don't do enough crap reviews online i mean i uh, they do but they do it for for reaction they do it for for you know for for showmanship and all that kind of stuff um so i'll do a crap review okay 
catch two whiskey again. Sorry, what what's it smell like? It smells like Talisker. So it's um honey, pepper, there's that kind of seaside fishiness. Um there is peat, it's light, it's slightly medicinal, but it's more bonfire peat. It's uh, Talisker. If you've never tried Talisker, then that's probably a fair description of what Talisker is like. It's nice. If you like smoky stuff, if you don't like smoky stuff, then you know it's not going to be for you uh, probably but then it's a lighter style of smoky stuff so i would say it's probably more of an introduction to the smoky kind of whiskies and therefore worth giving a crack on the palate sorry i could sniff this for a long time because it's highly sniffable it's lovely From memory, and I haven't had the 10 year old for a while, but I would say this is slightly younger. There's a little bit more bitiness to it. It feels like it might be a little bit more smoky than the 10 year old. I wouldn't put it so smoky as um, Talisker Storm. Got to get me terms here, because there's a lot of Taliskers out there now. Talisker Sky is the sort of like slightly lighter one. Still nice, but um talisca 10 year old is a staple it's it's awesome um you've got the distillery edition which is different again and it's even more awesome um and obviously talisca 18 year old and then into the cat autumn um and uh, then you've got storm and dark storm and storm is like the heavier peated kind of version dark storm being the heavier peated version in heavily charred casks and it's only generally available at uh, travel retail anyway um i'm not sure i've tried dark storm um Storm I've tried, it's nice, it's very nice, it's, it's smokier, it's kind of a bit more Isla than it is um, Sky. Cat's looking at me weird. Uh, <sighs> bro. Bittersweet, dry with it, kind of almost treacly. Um, smoky, definitely, I think. I think slightly high, heavier in the smoke than the than the ten year old. I would say maybe that's just because it's more of a youthful spirit and smoke retains in younger whiskies. The older it gets, the more the smoke sort of dissipates in the cask, essentially. Um, lots of honey, bit of black pepper. It's filling in the mouth. Higher ABV carries that taste well. It's quite drying in the finish. got that Talisker punch it's nice it's great stuff um, I really like it however and it's a good price point actually so let's well, carry on with that bit first so price wise I think it's in the uh, it's 48 I think is the retail now if you happen across um, travel retail Talisker seems to be one of the, the Game of Thrones bottlings that's quite prolific and available at travel retail, as is Lagavulin, as is I've seen Singleton and Glendale in there, and I've seen mm, Cardi, I think, or Dalwini, one or the other, or both. For some reason, Talisker at travel retail is only thirty-three pounds something. It's really cheap, and I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe it was a maybe it was a mistake at the time, and they've corrected it. But when it was seen at the very beginning, when it first came out, it was thirty-three pounds and pennies, which was odd. But interesting to know if you go through travel retail, you see it. Get one, it's all right at that. Um, however, Talisca 10 year old is awesome. So, Talisca 10 year old, I would rate over this one as a drinking whiskey is concerned. So, I wouldn't necessarily get this particular, which is an individual Talisca expression, it's a specific Talisca expression for this release. I wouldn't say it was worth getting to drink over a Talisca 10 year old. Just an opinion, and get the Talisca 10 year old. If you're collecting the set, just get it anyway, but you just don't have to open it. Don't, don't buy it as one to open if you're like me and sort of like getting any 
extras maybe to say, oh, I think I might want to drink this one and keep one for the uh, unopened set and all that kind of stuff, then, you know, I wouldn't go out of the way to, to get one to open. Let's put it like that. Anyway, right. That's that. I ain't got much more to say. Um, they're both, right. In conclusion, Cardi, great, simple, easy drinking, um, beginner whiskey, you know, starting a session whiskey, perfectly awesome for that kind of thing. Um, just don't expect to, don't, if you're a whiskey, if you're somebody who's into your whiskey and spent time drinking whiskey and, and you know, you're, you're past um, the level of smooth and simplistic then and, and in, you know, easy to drink, that's probably a better way to put it, um, then yeah, it's not for you. Um, Talisker, more likely to be for you. Uh, if you want to, if you love Talisker and you want to try a different expression, definitely without a shadow of a doubt, well worth trying. Um, expect something between 10 year old and Sky. Uh, not Sky. Well, it's a weird one actually. Yeah, I'd expect it sort of like being that triangle if you're going to do a Venn diagram or something and you had Sky here and Storm here and, and Talisker 10 here. Probably the select reserve would be somewhere in the middle, actually. There you go. So um, worth giving a crack if you're a, a, a Tasker of Ficcionado and want to uh, particularly try that one. Definitely without a shadow of a doubt. Um, if you were eyeing up and deciding between Talisker Storm, Talisker 10 year old and Talisker that one select, then I would say uh, if you like your Island Malts, go for the Talisker Storm. If you haven't really started with PE stuff, then go for that one or Sky. Um, and otherwise get 10 year old because it's awesome. And if you pass all that, get the Stiller's Edition because that's awesome too. Right, that's it for now. Um, sorry it's too long, um, but that's it. Right, bye. See you for part four coming up soon, which will be Darwin Darwinny's Winner's Storm, I think, and uh, the last one, which is Lagavulin. Mm. See you soon, bye bye.